Hey, question 12, it's back to the good old Cyclone Club. So, what we've got is a wee mock-up of a homepage. Very first questions is asking you the URL, so include everything if they ever ask you that. Sometimes they might say, what's the domain, right? So, just the whole thing. Okay, from http all the way to .co.uk. And then, second question, just asking you, well, what's the purpose of this web? It's about Scottish Cycling. It's providing information about, in this case, how to join the club. And then, your next question, I'm just asking you, well, what's an internal link and external? Remember, internal hyperlink, one that takes you to a page within the same site. External hyperlink to, takes you to a, a different website. Okay, so, let's have a wee look here. Well, that would be an internal one. These ones, internal. The social media, that's going to be external, okay? And then there's a few other internal ones as well. So that's where... So there's a, a number of answers, okay? But I've just chosen these ones. About the club, internal. And the Facebook one is external. Then ask... Describe two tests that you have to... Or would be carried out in a new site. Well, you want to make sure the hyperlinks work. You would want to make sure the wee search bar works, okay? So you want to make sure the hyperlink works, search link. You want to make sure the spelling's correct. You want to make sure the images appear, okay? So there's a number number of tests that you could take. So the website's got many photographs, suitable file formats for photographs and video, okay? So what we've got is for photographs... JPEG, GIF, could also PNG, now GIF's not the best for photographs, okay, but it's still one of these standard formats, standard file formats. For video, you could have MP4, AVI, okay, question E part 2, is before the files are uploaded, they are compressed to reduce their file sizes, okay, you have two reasons why files are compressed. Well, if you are storing a website, okay, you need to make sure that you've got enough space for all your files and you're paying for space, so you want to actually make sure that the file sizes are as small as possible because it takes up less space and that just means that you can actually have more files, okay? And if it is compressed, it allows it to travel across the network a lot quicker, okay? So it can be downloaded and uploaded a lot quicker from the internet, so that's why Compression is good as well. So compression, small file size, so it takes up less storage, and it's also a lot quicker downloading over that network. Okay, if it's compressed. Right. So when the website was designed, it was made suitable for a smartphone. Two hardware limitations. So remember, a smartphone, laptop, desktop, they've got the same mechanics in terms of they've got processors, they've got memory got backing storage but your smartphone has got a limited amount of memory compared to a desktop okay so that's a limitation and the processing power that's another limitation okay so the processor isn't as powerful as a desktop or a laptop and the size of screen okay so the, you know, if you're wanting to have a website displayed on a smartphone Having a website like this isn't going to render very well onto a smartphone, okay? So that's something that you have to take into account if you're creating a site that you want to be able to run on a smartphone as well. And I think that is the end. No, it's not. Water checked. So, 12G is explain why the website would be suitable for members for their smartphone. Okay. In this case, it does have a quite a straightforward way out. To me, it's still a bit too busy, okay? But it's a straightforward way out, and it is relatively simple navigation. You've not got any drop-downs, okay? So, simple way out, quite big text, and it's also simple navigation. So the club's website was created using HTML. What does HTML stand for? It's hypertext markup language. And state the features of HTML code that's used to format sites. That's tags, okay? So that is when I grab a wee bit of paper. Remember, 
and if you put the word bold in these tags that actually makes that word bold okay so that's the bold tags remember it has a start tag and an end tag and that is it the end of question 12